Hey you guys, it's me Lola. So I want to talk to you about how I kick fear in the butt so that I can live the life that I want and have all the amazing things that I believe exist for me. So if that's you and you need a few actionable tips that you can put into place this week and get some immediate results, then stay on. I'm going to help you out. So this whole chat that I'm having with you actually started from a phone conversation I was having with someone that I consider to be very near and dear to my heart. And as we were talking about our goals, our plans, where we saw ourselves going, some things that we immediately needed to do and to take action on right away, I got asked a question okay that happens right and the question was you're so consistent on social media you're so consistent online you're so present how do you do all of these things and not be afraid and if you are afraid how are you how are you doing it with fear and so I had a, a very rapid response to give them and that's what I'm gonna give you the first thing is this Sometimes you will have to do things in the state that you're in and you'll realize that as you do those things, you will overcome limits that you've placed on yourself or limits that have kind of been imposed on you over time. Let me explain. So I was someone that always dealt with a lot of fear of everything. When I say everything, I mean everything like germs. <laughs> Beyond that, the dark. When I was a kid, I was afraid of the dark. I was afraid to go places by myself. Even moving into adulthood, I was really afraid to go anywhere by myself. I wouldn't do it. If I couldn't get anyone to come with me, I don't care how much I wanted to be there. I don't care if it was a once in a lifetime thing. I don't care if someone was gonna give me a million dollars to go by myself. I would not go, okay? I would not go. Fear just had me all throughout my life. So a couple of years back, me praying and talking to God, God didn't even say like, you got a real problem with fear. God just started talking to me and telling me like, hey, you need to start getting used to going places by yourself. You need to start doing it as often as you can because your future is approaching quicker than you think the future I have for you and you're gonna have to start going places on your own so I'm like okay so I started doing little things I started going to new places alone I signed up this was the kookiest thing I did on a Valentine's Day of all days I signed up to go to a concert about love how kooky is that right on Valentine's Day who does that I did and I was single as out of a dollar bill right single as a dollar bill I went to this concert by myself all these couples and stuff but I had fun and I really wanted to go nobody was able to go so I was like I'm going and God said get used to these things now I, I started doing that and shortly after that I started traveling by myself you know going um, places like Chicago going to Texas I'd never been on a plane because I was super afraid of that and I finally got on my first flight and just started taking off and taking off, taking off and taking off. I remember when I took my first flight, I heard the um, words of a Dr. Seuss book, Oh, the places you'll go. So I did all of this stuff and and I'm doing all of these things and I, I come home and one day I saw this coffee shop that it popped up in my neighborhood and I'm like, I wanna go to that coffee shop. I've never been there before. I don't know what they serve. I don't know what they have, but I'm gonna go in there. And I went into that coffee shop and I told the barista, I was like, hey, I've never been here before. I don't know what you have. I said, but I don't like sugar like that. I said, if you can just give me something that's kind of sweet naturally on its own, but still caffeinated, I would love that. And they told me two options. I went with one and I left and I started to go home. And in the middle of me going home, God started talking to me and he was like, I've delivered you from fear. And I just was like, oh my gosh, I was just bawling crying because I hadn't realized it. I hadn't realized this thing that it becomes so natural to me, this limiting behavior that I had, that was just so natural that I didn't even notice it, had dissipated, it was gone. It had left. It was out of there. So I say that to make this point clear. Some things will happen for you as you begin to walk into your destiny, as you begin to listen and follow through on what God is saying for you. Some of the 
the deliverance that you need is going to come strictly through that. So even when you're dealing with something like fear, it's something that may just happen by you just deciding, okay, I'm just going to start walking in this. And the next thing you know, it's gone. So that's one thing. The next thing is this. You've got to decide that, hey, I know why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I'm doing that for this reason. The reason that I do everything online and through social media is because I feel like this is a part of my life's purpose. I feel like this is something that God has given me as a part of my destiny. And that's why I do it. So I get gung ho about it. And it's just like, I'm not afraid to do it because he's given me so much confidence in private that I'm like, he said to do this, so it's gonna be okay. And that's even how I kind of get pushed into doing things and how I got pushed to make the smoking profit. So you guys know the smoking profit as a blog and a podcast that helps to enrich your life spiritually, creatively, and socially. But the way it started was just God giving me a little idea and saying, start a website, start a blog, just sharing your conversations with me, with the world in a way that people that know me and don't know me can understand. So that's it. I hope that helps you all. Hope that helps you kick fear in the butt and start living the life that you were actually created for. I love you guys and I'm out of here. Have an amazing day. Bye.